What we're doing today is the seventh voluntary bailiff service induction for phase one in the pilot project in South East England where we're inducting anglers, training anglers who have volunteered, stepped up to the plate to help protect fish and fisheries. The voluntary bailiff service basically exists to support the Environment Agency in a very challenging task of protecting fish and fisheries, working very much in partnership with the police and volunteers being properly trained for their safety. And I'm going to sort of give you a, a national perspective about uh, about VBS. Uh, it's currently running as a pilot in this part of the world, um, but uh, we, we're looking at it from a national point of view, and, and hopefully further rollout in the future. The red line has also doubled in the in the period. That is substantiated incidents. That's probably quite a serious incidents. Category one, two incidents. People netting rivers, multiple offenders, that type of thing. Um, and you know, within that period, that's doubled as, as well. And I think with the work that uh, we're doing with the Anglin Trust, the Fishing Enforcement Campaign, the awareness raising we're having with the public, with anglers, with police and so on, this is only going to drive more calls, which is what we need. You know, we don't want to see more crime, but we want to make sure that the incidents that are happening out there are reported. And it's only by reporting those incidents you know, that we can prove that we have got a problem out there and we can uh, campaign for more resources. To what we're trying to do is educate you, raise awareness, of what we're interested in, um, in, in terms of intelligence, uh, information, and how you can get that information um, uh, into the agency such that we can, we can act on it. It is absolutely essential that everybody understands that this whole process revolves around income and information. It is vital that anglers, wherever they are, report those incidents and any information to the police on 101 if that concerns fishing without permission or fish theft or to the environment agency about anything else and in fact it's a good idea to report both 101 to the police 999 if it's a crime in progress or you're concerned for your own personal safety or 0800 80 70 60 to the environment agency and the voluntary bailiff service is trained so that it is able to report those incidents to a high evidential standard. I am very pleased to say that we're making a slow but very positive progress. In 2010, we've made a survey with angling clubs and 97% of clubs responded that they've got any issues with migrant anglers fishing illegally. We repeated a very similar survey in 2015 and the number was reduced to 65%. It's still a huge number, but it's, 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 it's here to show that, that our hard work pays back. The only incidences I've had of people taking fish, apart from what we've seen ourselves with traps set and barbecues on the bank and fish scales and fish heads, was actually from Eastern European anglers telling me this guy over here is taking fish and then you can approach them and, and, and the two guys that we've had reported, in fact three guys, two, two were fishing together, um, we spoke to them, they didn't actually realise, you know, I was fishing with two of them last, last week and he actually apologised to me, he said sorry we didn't know, exactly. now they're club members and they're keeping an eye out for us. So exactly. And if those so here we are, a very good successful day, a very enthusiastic bunch of volunteers had quite intensive training today. Um, nice to see as these training days evolve, they get better and better and hopefully we've got a bunch of volunteers will go away with a better understanding of the Environment Agency's enforcement work and able to give us some real support going forward. I found it very informative, uh, I think it's quite a simple message, um, you know, stuff that we're doing already but obviously a lot simpler that we're just collecting data and also quite empowering, um, you know, um, give us confidence in what we're doing and um, reporting better because I've got to be honest, a lot of stuff I don't report and actually you realise that it does all make a difference. Well that's the end of the day of the seventh voluntary bailiff service induction for the South East at which we've seen training delivered by the UK National Wildlife Crime Unit, the Environment Agency and the Angling Trust, so our volunteers are able to go out there and help support the Environment Agency in the very challenging work that is delivering fisheries enforcement and protecting fish and fisheries.